I'm Kate and today we are going to be just chilling and playing with makeup. I wasn't really like getting ready for anything in particular, I just wanted to sit down and have some fun, grab some fall colored makeup and just come up with a look just on the fly. So this is the look I came up with, absolutely loved it and this actually ended up being an all high end makeup tutorial. So if you want to see my favorite high end products for the fall then you are definitely going to be seeing it here in this video. And if you like this video and you would like to hang out with moi every Monday and Friday, I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button down below. And also, if you would like to become a part of the Glam Fam, then go ahead and tap that notification bell as well, so you don't miss out on any of the future fun. All right, let's jump right into it. So I don't really have like a specific look in mind that I'm going to create. I just wanted to sit down and play with some fun fall makeup. So I have my Sephora Pro Warm Palette and this is limited edition, but you can still get your hands on it at Sephora, clearly. This is the store's own line of makeup and please forgive any of those markings on it. It's just fingerprints and it's not very pretty, but what are you gonna do? So I just feel like playing with makeup today. I'm not really like getting ready to do anything specific. I just feel like having fun. So I'm going to be picking up the shade, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to be picking up the shade Adobe here with my Spectrum you gl Glow. You go, Glen Coco, and this is their B06 brush. What I love is that this thing has a big ol' honkin' mirror over here, but I'm still using this one because it's at the right height for me, so. Dipping that lightly in, and then I'm probably gonna zoom you in so you can actually see what I'm doing. It might help. Just bringing this along the crease. I have really loved my two Sephora Pro palettes. I got the cool and the warm, and so far I've liked every shade that I've used. So if you are looking for a bit of a splurgy kind of an eyeshadow palette, then this one's definitely worth it in my eyes. I would definitely compare the shadows to Natasha Denona shadows, and I know some people were commenting and like reviews and stuff saying that some of the shades were weren't as pigmented as they wanted them to be, but I kind of used those as just like blending shades. I don't really notice like loss of pigment. I just feel like those are softer shades, so. Then I'm going to use my finger to pick up the color brick and I will show you what that looks like. It is right here, this beautiful, very cool, deeply pigmented color. And I just feel like letting that be the pop on my eyes. So I'm just gonna bring this right along my lid. Yeah, this is the fall look I was going for. Mm. So I'm using this color right here on my lid and then bringing it up into that transition color for a nice little ombre effect here. I love this time of the year because you can do really like soft glam looks. You don't have to be like too over the top you can just have two eyeshadow colors that just blend seamlessly into each other and it creates a whole look. You don't have to be like too dramatic with everything. And I also love this time of the year because I feel like it's when you can start accessorizing more and just being a little bit extra, which I love. I feel like I haven't really done that much over the summer. I mean, I did some, but summer's just supposed to be about like being casual and not really like caring too much about your outfit but I feel like in the fall is when fashion starts to come alive again and that's when I bring out all of my really fun earrings and all of the fun accessories like hats and scarves and bracelets it's just so much fun at this time of year because it all just starts to pop up again it's Nice to revisit your old loves. Then I'm going to pick up my Morphe E18 and dip it back into Adobe and bring that right along my lower lash line, making it nice and smoky on the bottom. Then I'm going to grab my pencil brush and dip it into the shade Sand right here for a nice inner corner and brow bone highlight. 
funny, I was never one to really like curl my hair a lot because I felt like the curls always just fell out and it was just kind of pointless. But recently I've been doing a lot of practice with my hair and ever since I cut it shorter, it's been a heck of a lot easier. So I've been using my Numi curling wand. I forget how big it is, but it is wonderful. I'm done in 10 minutes. I think it's so fun. I use the same products that I did in my how to get big voluminous hair tutorial with the curls and it just turns out beautifully. I'm so happy with it. So if you would like to see a tutorial, even though you can't really see my hair and I kind of have it like half up, half down, but if you'd like to see like a big curl and how to like really fluff it up and make it like poofy and stuff, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will make that for you. So I'm going to take a little break and go put my mascara on and I will be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back and I do have glitter pulled out, but I think I'm gonna wait for that to the last step because I'm not sure if I really want to use it or not. So I'm going to be going in with blush and this is MAC Warm Soul. I think that this is such a gorgeous blush for the fall. Looks like this. And then I'm going to be using my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush and just bringing this right along my cheekbones. Nothing too intense because the eyes are definitely the pop here. This is a mineralized blush, so it blends like a dream. It goes on so, so easily. So if you're looking for like a perfect blush color that's just soft, easy to blend, very buildable, then I'd say that MAC Warm Soul is one of the best ones ever. Then for highlight, I'm going to be grabbing the Topaz Highlight from Jouer. I got this little itty bitty baby one in a sampling of three and this one is beautiful for a fall time highlight just very glowy this one is an intense highlight so if you're looking for something that's definitely going to be a poppin these are definitely a z way to go oh and the brush i'm using is spectrum b05 loving spectrum brushes i think they're some of my all-time favorite brushes ever 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 yeah i'm definitely adding glitter after i get the highlight off my lip so this is Stila Magnificent Metals. This is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Goddess. I'm sure you have seen these all over YouTube, but these are phenomenal, and I don't really like to use any other kind of glitter anymore. This is really just the way to go. So I'm putting this as just a little pop right in the center of my lid, attempting to make it slightly more even. And a tip for hooded eye gals, go ahead and give this a moment to dry before you really open up your eyes. Otherwise, it's going to be all over your lid and your crease, which is, you know, a pretty look. But if you're looking for it to just stay down below, then just give it a little bit of time. We're just gonna wait here for a minute. Let that dry. Then for lips, I'm going to grab this itty bitty baby lipstick. This is from Buxom. This is their Big and Sexy in Sinful Cinnamon. Then to set everything in place, I'm going to be grabbing my Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. This one has the best mist and makes your, your skin, your makeup, last forever. <laughs> If you would like to check out my other autumn inspired videos, I will have the playlist linked down below. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly, and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.